In today's video, I will teach you how to edit text in GIMP. Let's get started. Editing text layers in GIMP can be both straightforward or perplexing. This guide elucidates two methods for text layer editing, delves into the intricacies of GIMP's approach to text, and offers insights into preserving text editability. There are a couple of ways for editing text layers. The first one is using the text tool method. Select the text tool from the toolbox or simply use the shortcut key T. Click the text within the image and the text tool pop-up will appear, outlining the text box. And here, you can edit the text as needed. The second method is by using the layer properties. In the layers panel, Locate the text layer, then right-click the text layer, and choose Edit Text on Canvas from the Layer Properties pop-up. And the text tool pop-up will appear, indicating the editable text box. If these methods fail, it's possible that the text has been converted to pixels, and do commands or recreating the text layer may be necessary. To retain the ability to edit the text in subsequent sessions, save your file in GIMP's native XCF format. Unlike JPG, which flattens image and discards layer information, XCF preserves layers, masks, paths, and more. And there's also a difference in between saving and exporting. Saving is just storing the file for future editing within GIMP. For this, you can use the XCF format. And exporting is preparing the image for sharing in different formats may not support editable layers. When you create a text layer in GIMP, it start out as editable vector shapes. However, any edit beyond basic transformations, for example, move or scale, forces GIMP to rasterize the text, converting it into pixels. You can recognize restoration by the change in the layer thumbnail from a text icon to a preview of the rasterized pixels. The common rasterization triggers is applying edits other than the basic move or scale commands. Even simple actions like rotation can lead to rasterization. While the text editor has its quirks, it offers an alternative method for editing text in GIMP. By using the text editor, you can edit text in a separate pop-up window. It has limited functionality compared to the text tool, but it supports right-to-left text orientation. And it also allows vertical text writing, maintaining editability as vectors. In terms of rasterization legacy, GIMP's historical development and limited vector handling contributes to text rasterization challenges. And in terms of vector usage, text and basic Bezier curve paths represents primary vector usage in GIMP. Editing text layers in GIMP demands a nuanced understanding for vector and rasterized text. While GIMP's legacy constraints pose challenges, navigating through the methods like the text editor provides workarounds. The choice of saving format significantly influences text editability and future results. As you delve into text manipulation in GIMP, consider the interplay between vector and rasterized elements for a seamless editing experience. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.